All right, so we're going to talk about what happens, like what does a failed launch look like and why did it happen? So why have you seen reasons that, that launches have failed? Yeah, so it's pretty straightforward. Uh, the same reasons I talked about success uh, also come from a point of we've seen people make mistakes, which causes failure. So essentially, the, the number one is just choosing the wrong word. So people, you know, if you think that most people are searching let's look at the child safety lock, like looking at uh, child, uh, cabinet safety, like some people are searching that, but it's probably not enough volume to you know, give you the kind of results that you're looking for. It's, it's probably not enough volume to help you uh, maintain ranking there or not enough uh, to maintain ranking across the board. So making sure you're choosing the right keyword. Again, imagine you're expecting to sell 50 units a day or 30 units a day and then you target a keyword where you can only sell five units a day right like you're going to be pretty disappointed i would call that a failure uh one one thing i we forgot to write down here uh, i forgot to mention is a lot of people pay attention to their bsr versus keyword ranking so the goal here is to improve your keyword ranking not improve your bestseller rank so there's there's bestseller rank really means nothing. It's, it's kind of a vanity metric in so much as if you have a BSR of five or you, you have a BSR of five million, that does not drive more sales for you. That does not help you do anything, right? Mm. It's just an indicator of past sales, right? It's, it's like a report card. By getting an A last semester, that doesn't help me to get a B on my next assignment, let's say, right? Oh, okay, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it doesn't help your grades moving forward. And so sales are driven from keyword ranking. People aren't looking at bestseller rank or they're not going to Amazon bestsellers and going to the you know 1,000th best uh, seller in, in, to in tools or something, you know? Yeah. Uh, so they're finding you in the search results. We've seen plenty of people where, you know, they, they get good keyword ranking, but their bestseller rank doesn't uh, reach what the threshold they were hoping for. And they're like upset with the launch and it's like, no, you're, you're ranking number two for your main keyword. Like this is a big success. Um, yeah, so There's definitely. Just no sales there, right. so yeah. Right, exactly. Mm. Definitely pay attention to keyword ranking. Don't pay attention to bestseller rank. Like, so here's the here's my question. So how do we know if it's a van like a vanity keyword? So we could look up a keyword where there's all we're all ranking and it looks like great sales, but nobody's actually looking up that keyword. But of that keyword, the ones that rank are all good sellers. Yeah, yeah. How so, do we figure that out? That's the thing I don't know, like because I just guess. Yeah, so, well, so then the trick there is you need to be using a keyword tool that has good search volume to know people are searching for this and there are good sales for it, so I am assuming that okay, so the, that, the searches are translating Is that like the tool there. that you guys are developing? So, yeah, yeah. Okay, so maybe at the time of the release of this, it's out already, we'll do a video on it, and if it's not, we will release it in the future. So uh, take, take a look at that, because that's a, that's a big problem that I never know, because, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's very tough. I mean, that's a really good question. Just because a seller has, you know, let's say the seller is selling 30,000 units a month and they're ranking number one for that keyword, it doesn't, and it could just be this, you know, 10 word phrase that no one's searching. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, it could very well be misleading. So uh, yeah, R right keyword selection is critical. Don't pay attention to bestseller rank, just pay attention to sales. Um, another one, having a bad listing. So you can run a launch, you can get ranking or sometimes you can't even get ranking because you don't have that keyword in your title. And now, like, we've seen plenty of people come try to run a launch for, let's say, fish oil, and they don't even have fish oil in their title. Like, come on, guys, like, you have to. Uh, make sure you have good photos. Again, make sure your listing is good so that when you are ranking, people are gonna buy your product and help to perpetuate those sales to perpetuate that ranking. Um, not enough units, uh, not enough time. So. Again, you have to make sure that you're giving away the proper number of units to make sure that you are relevant enough, making sure that you are giving away for the right number of days. So many people come in and they give away for a day or they give away for three days or they give away for five days. And it's just, you, you have to go all in or it's not worth it, right? Like if you run a promotion and you land at the top of page three, it's not gonna help you. It's either all in or not. Um, bad price. So we see a ton of people like, do they go too high or too low? Or is it like, what's it, what causes the problem? So the problem is like, you know, let's say you're selling a jump rope that's exactly like everybody else's jump rope and you're charging $60 and everybody else is charging $12. Like, there's a reason people aren't buying a jump yeah, rope, right? Yeah, for like, sure. So you need to make sure that your price 
is appropriate for the market. I know it's easy to get wrapped up emotionally and like, no, my product is worth this, but like the market is the ultimate decider, right? Like you were charging a lot more for your goggles, but the, but it deserved it, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I couldn't charge something that it didn't deserve. Right, exactly. Like if you had the the paper glasses, like you couldn't charge the same as you were with the goggles because people could have gotten the, uh, a relatively similar experience for a much lower price. Okay, so then I guess I would like. So then, lastly, bad price. So then, is it suggested like does a lower price on a launch? then you're gonna sell it for in the future, does that help it stick better? Uh, so I think that once you're ranking, a lower price helps to drive more sales, which helps you to maintain that. And ranking. then you're stickier, and then yeah, you can yeah. raise it slowly. Right, exactly. Yeah, so like after launch, I definitely think that you should be spending money on PPC, you should lower your price, just to make sure that you're driving enough sales to maintain that ranking. And then you can always incrementally increase your price, right? So let's say you're selling that jump rope and you want to sell at $20. Um, maybe right after your launch, you lower it to $12. And after a week of good sales, you raise it to 14. Another week of good sales, you maintain that rank. Now you raise it to 16. Like, don't be afraid to lose money up front. The, the launch, you're losing money, but you could lose less money by having a lower price, right? Because having a lower price at, let's say, $12 is like running a giveaway at $12 versus 20, uh, which is much better than you know, the $2 or something that you're doing with the giveaway. Yeah, yeah, I think it's important that people think about, you can't just think about the short-term money of things. You need to look at the lifetime, what is the lifetime value of this launch? A lot of people will look at it and they say, God, I just lost, you know, $1,500. They don't see that they just paid $1,500 for $58,000, yeah, like, yeah. of, like of, of potential upside. So um, you, they think about it, like all successful store, like grocery stores and stuff, they sell stuff at a loss to get you in the door because they know that they're, they're going to make more money from that. So like, don't, you, you just, it's the price to pay in certain markets if, if you haven't been creative and you don't have like a groundbreaking product, you know, you, this, it's just the way it works. Yeah, and <laughs> lastly, another thing I forgot to put up here is making sure you have enough inventory. So we, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. we have plenty of people, you know, they come to us, they have 200 units in stock, they oh. run a giveaway for 150 and now they're selling 25 units a day organically. It's like you're in stock for two days and uh, now you, you run out of stock. Sometimes you fall down in the ranks when you run out of stock and now you like, it's cyclical, you like keep doing this process over and over. Make sure you have enough inventory for the number of units that you're gonna give That's and a good one. the uh, amount of new sales that you're gonna be driving once you are ranking. Perfect, well, thank you for clearing that up and we know what a failed launch looks like. Nice.